Hi, welcome to our series on interpreting lab values. In this one, we're gonna give you an introduction to serum creatinine. Now, if you're gonna do a serum creatinine blood test, this requires a venous blood sample. You're gonna use a gel barrier tube, it'd be a red top tube, a green top tube, that's heparin, or a lavender top tube. Creatinine levels are different for men and for women. So a normal level for a man is going to be 0.6 to 1.2. Women is 0.5 to 1.1. Now, don't let this throw you off. Let's keep in mind that creatinine is attached to muscles, right? It's part of muscle metabolism. Men tend to have higher percentages of body muscle than women do. So just memorize one of those values and keep in mind women are just a notch lower in their normal creatinine levels. All right, so we know what tube you draw it in. We know differences for men and for women, just the tiniest bit of difference. Now let's look at what serum creatinine is. See, it's one of the chemical waste products and it's produced by muscle metabolism. That's why the male number is a little bit higher because they generally have higher muscular percentages. So it's muscle metabolism, it's a waste product, and there's a smaller extent due to eating meat. But predominantly, creatinine is related to your muscle metabolism. Now, creatinine is a waste product of creatine. The muscles use that to make energy. So that all ties together. When you think about creatinine, I want you to think about muscle metabolism and that males are going to be a little bit higher normal numbers than females. Now, normally healthy kidneys filter creatinine, that waste product, and other waste products from your blood into your urine. So if I have good, strong, healthy, functioning kidneys, I should have a normal serum creatinine level. So that's another key takeaway piece about serum creatinine. It assesses renal or kidney function. If your kidney is impaired, you're gonna have an elevated level of creatinine in your blood. So make sure you've got that underline in your notes. If I have impaired kidneys, watch for elevated serum creatinine. Now, serum creatinine can also help give an estimate of how well the kidneys are able to filter right down to that specific level. GFR is glomerulofiltration rate, and a serum creatinine can help us assess that. 